Oh my goodness, this museum is so dusty. Oh my, oh my gosh, boys and girls, there's so much dust in here. Okay, I'm gonna try and get Miss Manny. Don't tell her. Oh. Hi, Miss Chastity. Oh, hi, Manny. I was just telling the boys and girls about the uh, new series. Yes, a day at the museum where you can see, hear, smell, feel, taste. Oh, right, and speaking of feeling, I have this costume here with me. And uh, the boys and girls and I think that maybe you should try it on. Sure, anything for the boys and girls. I love Perfect. costumes. Let me just fix it here and then let's... Oh, oh you look so... Oh, did you get a little dirty there, Mus? Ooh, ooh, Just Manny. A little. Yeah, so uh, clean that up and, uh, well, boys and girls, oh. our brand new series, A Day at the Museum, is so exciting. Just like at a museum, you can experience all of these things. You can touch and you can taste and you can smell. It's amazing, but you can do those same things with God, and it's amazing. So boys and girls, we're so excited for our brand new series. Now boys and girls, if you're brand new, text the, the word new to the number on the screen, and we have something for you. It's mail. We have lots of coloring sheets and prizes that we send out every week. You're gonna wanna be on that list, so text the word new to the number on the screen. All right, Miss Manny, I think it's time to get to our brand new series. We're so excited for a day at the museum. Bye. Bye. Hi boys and girls, my name is Ms. Chastity and whether you're joining us in person or online, we are so thankful that you joined us today to talk about Jesus. Okay boys and girls, we're in a series called A Day at the Museum. And have you ever been to a museum? That's right boys and girls, just like at a museum where you can touch and feel and you can sense all of these things, we can use those same senses to experience God. That's so amazing boys and girls. Okay, so let everybody put on your imaginary tour guide headphones and let's see what, let's wait for our tour to start. Welcome to your guided tour. Your big idea is we can see God through Jesus. Say that with me. We can see God through Jesus. Great job, boys and girls. Now, before we get any further, let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for such an amazing day and such a fun way to learn about you. I pray that you are with us throughout this day and that you, we just know that you love us so much. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Now, moving along to your next stop on the tour, music. Wow, boys and girls, it sounds like we gotta get going, but I'll see you in just a second.
This love that I can't hide from This love can't be undone Make my life an echo of This love that chases me This love that stuck to me This love that never leaves Make my life an echo of This love that I can't help but This love that I can't hide from Welcome back, boys and girls. Singing and dancing to Jesus is so much fun. Okay, let's get to the Bible exhibit. Now, the man we're talking about today, his name is John. Well, and Jesus, of course. And John was very different, but he had a big part of God's story. And I want any of you out there that feel a little different, I want you to understand that you have a big part of God's story. And I want you to know that he loves you so much. Okay, let's read a little bit about John. He has a whole book in the Bible, but thankfully it's at the very beginning. So uh, John 1, 6 through 8. So let's read together, okay? So John 1, 6. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. Oh, okay, boys and girls. So what that just said is that everybody thought that John was the savior of the world, but he was very, very adamant. No, I am not the savior of the world. He was only here to point them to Jesus. Now, moving along to our Bible story video. Oh, perfect, boys and girls. Okay, now let's get nice and quiet and let's watch this exhibit. Stories of the Bible. John the Baptist. This is John the Baptist. Hey! John was the son of a Jewish priest named Zachariah and Elizabeth. John's parents were very old when Elizabeth became pregnant with John. Elizabeth's cousin was Mary, Jesus' mother. When Mary and Elizabeth were pregnant, Mary came to see Elizabeth. Hi! When Jesus' mom came close, John's mom felt John jump for joy in her belly. Wow! John grew up and became strong in the spirit. He lived in the wilderness and ate locusts and honey. He wore clothes made from camel's hair. John was a messenger of God, and his job was to prepare the way for Jesus. John would go to the Jordan River and preach to people about God's forgiveness. He said that they should be baptized, stop sinning, and start following God's way. Great crowds came to John to be baptized. Many thought that John was the Messiah, the savior of the world, that they were all waiting for. Wait. But John said, I am baptizing you now, but very soon someone is coming who is greater than I am, so much greater that I am not worthy even to be his slave and carry his sandals, he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. And one day, Jesus came to be baptized by John. Hold on. John didn't think he was worthy to baptize Jesus at first, but Jesus convinced John to baptize him. Eh, okay. As Jesus came out of the water, 
the heavens opened, and John saw the Holy Spirit coming down as a dove and resting on Jesus. A voice from heaven said, This is my dearly loved Son, who brings me great joy. After this, Jesus began his ministry, and John knew that Jesus would have to grow greater in his ministry, and John would have to grow smaller. And so, John finished his job of preparing the way for Jesus to do his great ministry on earth. Wow, boys and girls, so John really played a huge part in God's story, but everyone saw Jesus through him. Oh, hey, that reminds me of our big idea. We can see God through Jesus. Now, moving along to our Bible verse. Oh my goodness, boys and girls. I heard we have someone really special here to do the Bible verse. Let's get to that. Hi there, boys and girls. It's me, Dino the Dinosaur. I'm here to do the memory verse. We're in Jeremiah 29, 13. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all of your heart. I love that verse. Bye, boys and girls. Welcome back, boys and girls. We're to my favorite exhibit, the object lesson. And I have with me a few things, a few fun things that I got from the gift shop from our museum. And I absolutely love the gift shop. It's my favorite part. I love when my mom and dad give me a few extra dollars to buy something fun and wacky. Well, boys and girls, this kind of reminds me of our story today, because whenever I look at these things, I'm gonna remember what a fun time that I had at the museum. But kind of like our big idea, we can see God through Jesus. We can remember all the great things that God has done through Jesus. That's right, boys and girls. So let's say that big idea one more time. We can see God through Jesus. Good job, boys and girls. Now there's another thing I want you to remember. As Christians, we live our life just a little bit different than everybody else. We're kinder and we can be just nicer to everyone in general because that's what Jesus did for us. And so boys and girls, I want you to remember as you're going through your week that people see Jesus through you. And if you are a Christian and you say you're a Christian, people are gonna expect you to live your life in a different way. So I challenge you this week to be kinder to everyone because they're gonna see Jesus through you. And that when you're kind to them, they're gonna know that Jesus loves them. Okay, boys and girls, this has been such a fun day at the museum. I hope you come back. Remember that Jesus loves you and we do too. Bye.